My boyfriend and I broke up and I got this DM on the same day. Can I finally take you out or is it too soon? Yeah, Dan, I'm pretty sure six seconds is too soon. Wait a second, so they knew that you and your boyfriend broke up because they said, or is it too soon? So how did they find out about it? Ew, that's terrifying. But that's not even the point. If you find out that somebody is out of a relationship, you don't message them the same day and be like, can I finally take you out or is it too soon? Acting like they're the next in line to date them. Not how a relationship works. Oh, and would you look at that? I'm freaked out already. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning back in. And welcome to some more creepy private messages. I'm gonna try my best to make this video as family friendly as possible. <laughs> and I know that's a ridiculous thing to say, considering that we're on this subreddit. And it isn't only because YouTube is really strict. I also don't want to terrify you guys too much. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it wholesome. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And thank Thank you for all your support on Instagram too, guys. I've been getting so many followers every day on Instagram, so thank you for that. <laughs> I promise you I'm going to take some photos soon. I know I say that all the time, but I will get around to it, I promise. Okay, let's get into it. Enjoy. I remember when you cut your bangs. Yeah, lol, I don't do bangs these days. We had some funny times. I'd love to see ya. Yeah, maybe one day. What part of town do you stay? these days. I am in this place. And then no response. I wanna freak you. I really do though. You and I had really great you know, back then lol. You used to leave uh, stains on my pants shaped like a donut. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? We haven't seen each other in 25 <laughs> Oh my god. We haven't seen each other in 25 years and I'm less than 8 hours of talking. You just Jump into this? That is very rude and inappropriate. Oh, wow, really? Okay, sorry I bothered you. Man, your freak flag is gone. Bro, it's been 25 years. <laughs> That's so funny. And honestly, kind of incredible that they can even remember any of that. I can't remember stuff from like 25 days ago. 25 years. Like, hey, long time no chat. Hope you're doing well. I want to freak you. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to block you now. Well, let's just say very few women have this rare ability to turn on a man's most primal animalistic desires to mate for the sole purpose of impregnation and breeding. You do that to me. <laughs> and why would you think anybody would want to hear that? That's so gross. You might even say icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Just imagine you wake up up in the morning and it's a beautiful day. The birds are chirping. The sun is shining. You're having a cup of coffee in the sun. It's beautiful. And then your phone just goes ding and you get a message that says very few women have this rare ability to turn on a man's most primal animalistic desires. <laughs> would that completely ruin your day? I don't know if somebody messaged me that if I would completely freak out, you know, laughing about it or actually be scared and probably cry. Yeah, probably not a good idea to say that to someone. Is your you-know-what juicy? Oh, and then like a cheeky upside-down smiley face. Definitely not after that question. I'm sorry. Can we do pick for pick? Oh, no. <laughs> Go away. Oh, hey, baby. Am I turning you on? No. <laughs> I understand that messaging people can be really awkward awkward, but surely you're better than this. I just don't understand why people say stuff like that. And even when they do say stuff like that, what do they think's gonna happen? Surely they know this isn't going anywhere. Roses are red, violets are blue. May I ask you a question or two? Yes, you may. Though you won't be shocked and I'll probably be blocked. My question is inappropriate and impure. Are you still sure? Yeah, try me. It may 
makes my mind twitch, but if you slap two pizza slices together, is it considered a sandwich? Is this Dr. Seuss? Who is this? How scandalous. How dare you call it a sandwich? But it's enveloped and stratified with rich contents inside. Dough is a substitute for bread, or am I overthinking this in my head? This is kind of beautiful. Hmm, overthinking. Not a sandwich is what you imply. May I know why? Uh, yeah, pizza is not a sandwich, even if you stick it together. That's fair. Thanks for the share. May I ask one last inappropriate question before the end of the session? Go ahead. I should really reconsider this, but ignorance is bliss. To ask among life's greatest tests, how large are thy breasts? <laughs> wow, that was kind of good. Ah, uh, well, I'm an average, so... Do you think I can get an analogy to their size? Or am I pushing my luck and being unwise? I love this. <laughs> I know it's creepy, but it feels like I'm reading the cat in the hat or something. The cat in the hat Reddit version. I would like to apologize for being unwise. Well then, I accept your apology. I should probably also take my leave, lest I make you grieve. And that was the end of it. Wow. <laughs> now, to be completely honest, I should really reconsider this, but ignorance is bliss. To ask is among life's greatest tests, how large are thy breasts? That was kind of hilarious. Yeah, totally weird, but kind of funny. Hi. Yeah. I just wanted to say that you're the type of girl I want to be with during the revolution. I'm a man, but okay. Oh, that one didn't go as planned. <laughs> Wait a second. What revolution? What are they talking about? And also, do you think people like this message that sort of thing to like a whole bunch of different people? That would honestly kind of explain a little bit of it. But yeah, I don't really understand what they wanted to happen here. You're the type of girl that I want to be with during the revolution. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Are you in a relationship right now? Uh, yeah, why? Well, I was thinking I would like to get to know you better and I'll be in a relationship with you or friends and benefits. What do you think? What the freak? Yeah, absolutely. What the freak? You're just inviting yourself to be in a relationship with me? I want to get to know you better and I'll be in a relationship with you or friends and benefits. What do you think? Oh, yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> like, seriously, what? Can somebody explain to me in the comments why people do this? I really don't understand. Hey, goddess. So imagine you're 100 feet tall, standing above your favorite public place, naked, hungry, and horny, able to do anything you wanted to all the tiny people, also being able to absorb them by eating them and stuffing them in your butt. <laughs> What would you do with humanity at your fingertips? That could be the creepiest and most disturbing and funniest thing I think I've ever read. Hey, goddess, how are you doing? Just imagine for a second that you're 100 feet tall, absorbing people into your butt. <laughs> so, what would you do with humanity at your fingertips? I can't believe I just read that. I think I'm losing my mind. Hi, beautiful. Could you rate my ding dong? Zero, because it's not my fiancé's. Didn't even post it, but cool. Wow, they actually wanted a response. I only wanted a rating out of 10. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? The person who posted this left this comment here. It's funny to me because he seems to think that I might change my answer if he had shown me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, oh, come on, you haven't even seen it yet. Surely it's at least a seven. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yum. Can I ask you something? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Can I spit in your mouth? You mother fricker. I love how on this subreddit, I just have so many more questions. Like, do you know this person? Or is this just some random person? And why do they go straight to, can I spit in your mouth? <laughs> I know this one's on Tinder, but you're just talking on the phone. Just have a conversation. I really hope they had a normal conversation before this. And I hope even more that they're joking. Oh, your lips look plump. Hey, are your feet soft on the bottom? No. Really? Can you feel them right now? Can you frick off right now? Yeah, what? And what's that gonna do for them? If they responded to that, yeah, the bottom of my feet are so soft.
laughed. What, they're just gonna fantasize about the bottom of their feet? Is that really worth this awkward situation? Can I be honest? Uh, it depends. If you were my sister and you'd let me, I'd join you in the shower. Yeah, guys. <laughs> it's wholesome memes time. Hey, can that guy with the enormous fingers give me a thumbs up? Here you go, buddy. Okay, thanks. I needed that. Wait a second, what? <laughs> Is that the entire meme? They just gave them a really big thumbs up because they felt like they needed it. That's really adorable. Nothing gets through this armor. Oh, is that so? What about my love towards you? Anything else apart from that doesn't? <laughs> oh, I love unexpected wholesomeness. When it's the final episode of your favorite sitcom and they start showing flashbacks from past seasons. I don't want this to end. It's so beautiful. But think about all the fun times we've had. It's like when they do those flashback episodes on The Simpsons. Every time I watch them, I remember the very first time that I watched those episodes back in the day. It makes me want to cry happy tears. Having a day off work, yay. Bending the day off with my best friend, double yay. Is it just me or did something good just get better? Today is beautiful. Your positive attitude, a minor setback, yeah, get destroyed. Do you actually think you can get me out of this positive mindset? Think again. And would you look at that, guys? It's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope the creepy PMs didn't scare you too much today. If you made it this far into the video, guys, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know what you thought in the comments. I'm so grateful for the wholesome memes. We need them so bad. And you know what else I'm grateful for? You guys. Today's comment of the day goes to Bind Street. How come I always have a good time watching Vince's videos? Even though I'm listening to disturbing and yucky stuff, it's a mystery. That made me so happy because that's pretty much my only goal with these videos. I'm trying to take something that's sort of terrifying and make it a little bit more fun. I'm one of those people who probably doesn't look at this sort of stuff in their free time. And I've always sort of preferred to have somebody make a video about it. So like through these videos, I'm trying to make what I think I would need. Making the terrifying stuff on the internet a little bit more wholesome. And yeah, I'm so glad you enjoy. And on that note, guys, have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.